if you're just getting started with WordPress, it's nice to get a helping hand, especially when you just want an overview of how WordPress websites work and the main areas of WordPress websites. And that's exactly what today's tutorial is all about. So sit tight. All right, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining me. As I'm sure you might guess, WordPress websites come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and designs. However, most WordPress sites share some common components and layout areas. It's these common areas that I'd like to briefly outline with you here today. I also wanna make sure that you're comfortable with the two sides of every WordPress website. So we're definitely gonna talk about that as well. However, before going any further, I wanna let you know about a free online video course that I've put together over at 10tononline.com forward slash free, where we take this discussion of building websites and building online businesses even further. As I say, it's completely free. So go ahead and pause this video and head on over there and enroll while it is still available. All right, I hope this discussion of the various components that are common to WordPress websites sounds good to you. Let's jump into it. Okay, as I say, most WordPress websites share some common layout areas. These are, there's actually four of them, they are the header, the main content area, a sidebar, and a footer. Most WordPress themes, that is the design and the look and feel, the layout of your WordPress website will have these four common areas. So let's address each of these separately, starting with the header. First of all, the header contains most often the site title, so your website title, and possibly your site's tagline as well. It oftentimes will also include a navigation menu and also a logo. Beneath that, oftentimes, again, not always, but oftentimes, we'll have a main content area or what's sometimes referred to as the blog loop. This is where your recurring blog posts will appear, and they appear in chronological order. So new posts are going to appear on top of old posts. And oftentimes each post has associated with it the blog post title, some extra information called post metadata, like the date that it was published. You'll also have the post body and so on. Now, the third common component that we have, the sidebar, typically would sit on either the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the main content area or the blog loop. And the sidebar contains what are referred to as widgets. What the heck is a widget? Well, a widget is very simply just a small module that can contain a variety of information. For example, recent comments that were left on your site, maybe categories for your different blog posts, maybe popular blog posts. There's all kinds of different widgets and you can use them for all kinds of different purposes. Now, last but not least, we have the footer area. The footer area contains most often, again, copyright information, maybe some social media links. You can even insert additional sidebars and additional widgets into your footer area as well. Again, these areas are common, but they're not always used. For instance, sometimes the sidebar isn't used at all, or sometimes it may appear in some sections or some areas of your WordPress site and not in others. If you start looking at different web layouts, you can start to identify these four common layout areas. Again, the header, the blog loop, the sidebar, and the footer. So keep an eye out for these items as you're looking around at different WordPress themes and navigating through different websites and so on. Now, these are the four common areas in a WordPress layout. However, I wanna also talk about the two sides to every WordPress website. And if you're not sure what I mean, sit tight, we'll address that next. Okay, in addition to the four common parts 
or common areas of WordPress layouts. Do you remember what they are? The header, the blog loop, the sidebar, and the footer. In addition to that, every WordPress site also has two sides. I say two sides because that's exactly how I think of it. There's a public facing or a forward facing side to your site. This is the side of your site that's publicly accessible. And then there's a rear facing side to your site an admin area or the dashboard area to your WordPress site. The forward facing or the publicly accessible side to your site is what visitors see when they come and navigate through your site. This is the layout that they'll see. And of course the layout is gonna contain those four previously outlined areas that we just discussed. The rear facing or the dashboard area or the admin console, whatever the heck you want to call it, this is where you go and manage and look after your site. So you're going to log into this admin dashboard area to create pages and posts to make any edits or customizations and otherwise manage and look after your WordPress site. To get a better understanding of this, the analogy I always use when I'm trying to explain the, the two sides to every WordPress site is I use the example of a theater production. So with a theater production, there's two sides to it. There's the side that the audience sees, people sitting in the audience and they see the actors on the stage, they see the set pieces, they see the costumes and so on. And then there's what's going on backstage, the crew, the lighting, the wardrobe changes and all of that stuff that makes the magic on the stage actually happen. It's exactly the same with your WordPress website. Anyway, that's my analogy. I don't know if that helps or hinders, but Anyway, there you go. There's the two sides to every WordPress website. Okay, so those are the main components of your WordPress website. We talked about the four main layout areas one more time. That was the header, the content area, the sidebar, and the footer. And we talked about the two sides of every WordPress site, the public facing side and the admin dashboard side. So as always, I hope this helped to simplify things for you. I hope it all makes sense for you. And listen, if you know anyone who's maybe struggling a little bit with WordPress or they're starting out in a, a new online venture, let's lend them a hand, send them the link to this video and hopefully we can help them out. And listen, whatever project you're working on, whatever business idea you have in the works, the rest of us need it. The rest of the world needs it. So let's build it together. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.